another simple and easy one tray meal I'm going to show you how to do a cottage pie so the difference between cottage pie and a shepherd's pie is in shepherd's pie we use lamb mince and in a cottage pie we use beef mince these are the ingredients that you are going to need I'm using 500 grams of premium beef mince 3 tablespoons plain flour garlic and onion rosemary, thyme or mixed herbs salt and pepper to your taste 1 can tomato puree 1 large carrot and 1 cup of green peas a teaspoon of stock powder and a cup of water or you can use one cup of beef broth or chicken broth or even vegetable for the filling I am going to use 500 grams potatoes one egg half a cup of cheese any cheese will do and salt and pepper so let's start first we need to boil the potatoes or steam the potatoes so dice the potatoes and put it onto a steaming tray and steam until it is tender I'm going to steam this while steaming the potatoes let's prepare the ingredients so cut the garlic cut the carrot into cubes while steaming the potatoes let's prepare the meat for that into a pan add about a tablespoon oil into that add the onion and the garlic stir fry about a minute or two until the onions are translucent once the onions are translucent add the minced meat brown the meat in the salt and the pepper and the herbs after browning the meat add the pureed tomato and then add the carrot stir fry and cook about one minute after add a teaspoon of stock powder and about a cup of water and reduce half of the liquid add the green peas and then add the flour make sure to cook off the flour until there is no flowery taste so it will thicken quickly make sure to cook on a low heat once it thickens switch it off wait for the potatoes and going to transfer the cooked meat into a pyrex dish or any baking tray you can use press and spread it evenly when the potatoes are ready add some pepper and a bit of salt and mash the potatoes the potatoes I'm using is dry so I'm going to add about two tablespoons milk and mash again now add the cheese and break the egg ready now put the mash on top of the beef you can pipe this nicely with the design if you like Spread. After get a fork and do a design on top. So this goes to the preheated oven, 200 Celsius, about 15 minutes, or until the mashed potato is golden brown so it is ready as you can see the potato layer and the meat layer is really usable now I'm going to cut it so run the knife through now 
using a spatula take it slowly So it's a nice and a beautiful meal that you can serve with some gravy or some tomato sauce. Hope you will enjoy this. Thank you for watching.